All right, in this video, we're going to look at an example related to the derivative of the square root function. So suppose we're given th that the uh, derivative of square root of x is going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of x. We want to know what's the derivative of square root of x over 8. So just to kind of justify this a little bit, again, if we use the definition of the derivative on our new function, we would have the limit as h goes to 0, and then we would have the square root of x plus h over 8 minus the square root of x over 8 all over h. So again, I'm just using our definition f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, and again we're just taking the limit of that as h goes to 0. So I'm just using the definition of the derivative on our new function, square root of, square root of x over 8. Well, notice what we could do is, um, in the numerator, um, we could factor that 1 8 out, right? We could just pull the 1 8 out, and then we would have, well, 1 8 times the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x all over h. And the idea here is, is that the limit depends on h, okay? So this constant, uh, 1 8, we can actually just factor that out front. So we would have 1 8 times the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x all over h. But if you uh, think about it now, this last part, this last part would just be the definition of the derivative for the square root of x function. Okay, so, you know, if you think about uh, if we started with the function, say, f of x equals square root of x, if we wanted to find the derivative, we would get the limit as h goes to 0, square root of x plus h minus square root of x all over h. Um, and that's what we have in, um, you know, in this new expression. So what I'm trying to say is we can actually rewrite this, uh, this thing. This would just simply be equal to 1 8th times the derivative of the square root of x function, but we're already given that the derivative of the square root of x is going to be 1 over 2 square root of x. So now all we have to do is just multiply the 8 and the 2, and we'll get 1 over 16 times the square root of x. So the moral of the story is, um, when you're kind of uh, multiplying or dividing by a constant, if you know the derivative of one of them, so in this case we knew the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 root x, it turns out that the derivative of square root of x over 8, we just take the original one and we just multiplied it by 1 8. That's all we did in this case. So, um, so that's all there is to it. Okay, so again, um, we could have sort of just jumped and I could have said, hey, just take this one and multiply it by 1 8th. But again, just trying to give you a little bit of an argument as to why it is. So uh, we can just factor the 1 8th out. And again, what we're left with would just be the definition of the derivative of square root of x. But again, we know it, so we can plug that in and we can get our new derivative.